If you're looking for a super large collection of morons, you know where you should go? A food festival. First of all, let's tackle the subject of foodie. Like this is a term that you see on the internet a lot that I'm a wanderlust traveler and foodie. I get it. You have 300 followers in Zomato and you know what a parfait is because you watch MasterChef Australia. Of all the things you chose to be snobby about, you chose a bare necessity. Look, I don't even give a shit about the difference between wedges and french fries because at the end of the day, sab jaake party hi banta hai. I bet you guys couldn't even name five dals off the top of your head. Oh, sorry, I meant lentils. So I get to the grub fest. Look, just proof, okay? So you get to the grub fest and you have to wait in line for about 25 minutes to buy a ticket. And if you bought it online, you might have saved 50 bucks, but you also have to wait an extra 10 minutes because the online line is longer because nobody thought about saving 50 bucks. And once you get inside, guess what? There are more lines. Lines, lines, lines everywhere. I was just shocked how crowded it was and how many people turn up to such a thing. But then I realized when I go inside, it's not even about food. Nobody even cares about the food. First, let's start with the college kids who dress too hard for this place. Look, I get it. You can wear whatever you want. But what's the deal with that stomach revealing thing at a food festival? Like, I mean, the only purpose it probably serves is to show how much you ate at the food festival or to control how much you eat at the food festival. Because that's why your stomach is out. It's like a measure of self-control. Like, if you put in as much effort as you do into wearing your clothes for a food festival into a job interview you know what you could actually do you could use that money to go eat at a real restaurant comfortably yes you could do that it's i mean silly of me so stupid of me to think that i would discover new food at a food festival who would go through the trouble of finding all the culinary gems of delhi when you can just get every fancy restaurant to pay a bombshell for a stall to join a fancy mela i mean that's what it is and if you think that mela tag is harsh wait till you get to the place because it is loud <laughs> Yes, a nightclub section in the middle of a food fest. Because don't you know people are craving the ultimate combination of a dance floor and pork chops. Why? Why does it have to be in the middle of all the food? I can't even enjoy the food because all my five senses are being assaulted by the loud music. And even my tongue is vibrating to the point where it feels like I'm being molested by an electronic dildo. Oh yeah, that is completely what was missing in the mouthfeel. Fucking vibrations. There was this one stage off to the side where you have chefs discussing how they make certain kinds of food, which was great. I went and sat there because there wasn't enough seating in the rest of the place. Because who wants to sit and eat comfortably? That seems like such a ridiculous thing to ask for at a food festival. So I'm sitting there, okay, and the chef is talking about making a samosa. I'm like, finally, some real food. I could make a samosa at home. Let me figure out what's happening. And when I watch this guy, let's change the thing. Okay. Basically, yeah. Yes, the one place where food is being discussed, the mic is not even a fucking priority. Whereas at the main stage, Turn to Michael Jackson, everybody say, <laughs> the top definition of the word grub on Urban Dictionary is very simple. Food. Okay, that's all it is. Food. The second definition, however, fits the grub fest much better. A dirty, uncouth person who does not have proper hygiene, often characterized by low level of education, engaging in disgusting behavior, and often associated with hardcore illicit drug abuse. There was a lot of alcohol over there, to the point where someone who doesn't drink as often as me decided to get drunk because I felt like I was in a terrible nightclub and the only way I can get anything out of this is I'm fucking wasted. Look, I'm not saying you shouldn't enjoy good food. I'm just saying that if you're calling yourself a food festival, you better make it about the food. The star of the show should be food. You know what is a better food festival? Durga Puja at CR Park. Okay, you know what you are? A glorified food court. It's loud, it's obnoxious, and you think there's a lot of variety, but there really isn't. I don't know, maybe I'm just too old for this shit. But as my grandfather used to say, khane ki time, khane ki baat.